Hey guys, it's really important that you keep an eye on your flock, even if they have food and water, they could get hurt and if you don't know that they're bleeding, chickens are cannibalistic and so if they see blood, they love the color red, they're going to go for it. I went to my back flock uh, just a few days ago and then I saw my rooster Ozzy covered in blood, he was bleeding from his comb and then our white silky back there was just all over her face, it looked like a horror movie, covered in his blood, she was following around picking at it. And it looked like he got cut from some fencing, I believe, and so I had to act quickly to stop the bleeding, and a good thing that intervened when I did because the other chickens could possibly hurt or, or, or murder another chicken if they keep going for the blood. So I was going to show you what we did to get them all fixed up. Accidents happen, and you know I've harped on you guys before that it's important to have a first aid kit. Well, if you don't have the whole kit, at least just have these three items. You're going to want to have Veterasin, and it's just an um, antimicrobial wound spray to clean out the wound, or a Betadine, an uh, iodine solution. I also have the most important thing I think it is to have is this um, Wonder Dust. There's a few different brands. It's just basically a powder, almost like cornstarch material, that is going to start the clotting and going to stop the bleeding most important thing for you to have so first thing I did is there was a lot more blood than a, just a small cut so I ended up getting a paper towel and taking them to my sink you can also use like a saline solution but just like I rinsed out the wound and see where what was really going on rinsed off the excess blood patted them dry with a paper towel cleaned out the wound with my veteran spray and then after that I dump this powder and it immediately stops the bleeding, starts the clotting. It changes color to like a blue purple color and that makes chickens not want to go pick at it. It hides the red. So that's one of the most important things is it because it hides that red color and it masks the wound so the chickens don't want to pick at it. But even so, even if once you do get the wound hidden, oh, here's another thing, blue coat. It's a cleaning spray and it turns the wound like a purple blue too so chickens will not want to, um, be able to pick either. We use this sometimes. It's kind of messy. Um, it can come in handy, but if they're bleeding, it's not going to stop the bleeding. And it's messy because it's a blue spray, so it can yeah. get all over your hands too. My hands always turn purple. It rinsed off though. Oh, I still have a little. But the, one of the most important things actually is you're going to want to isolate that bird. You're going to have to have a little hospital set up, a little dog kennel. Just have something so they can heal, that wound can scab over, and they can stay a couple days in there and without the wound being reopened by another chicken and just having to start the healing process all over again. Another good thing you might want to have on hand is even just some super glue because if it is a small cut or something, you might be able to glue it back together. Our duck actually collided with a chicken a few years back. We mentioned this and it busted her duck bill, her beak open, and we put a little dab of super glue there and she healed right Right up it's like a fingernail you know so and that was boo back there yeah, that little duck. white duck here we're gonna go show you ozzy here we are out of the hospital for now but see he's healing up pretty good now i think he can almost come out soon ozzy why your comb so big but i'll come out here and i just keep make sure the wounds stay clean so it doesn't get infected and he's doing pretty good but <laughs> the initial with the blood everywhere, what you got to do is make sure that the other chickens aren't going to want to feed on that. Say hi, boy. We actually had some people miss you, boy. <laughs> had some commenters saying, like, how's Ozzy doing? Let's see him. Ooh. The Ozzy. There's Oz. Ozzy, Oz, boy. powerful Oz. <laughs> because he's hurt, we've been separating him in a separate pen. Not right now. He's out here. <laughs> All right, buddy. Time to go back. Yeah, we're, uh, he's our special needs rooster. He had curl toe paralysis when he was younger and he recovered. <laughs> he recovered a lot, but his feet never fully recovered. So I always try to keep an eye on him, but he still lives a good full life. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that this tip will help prevent some injuries in your flock. If you want to see Ozzy's story and how he used to be paralyzed and now he can walk, click on this video right here. If you want to see a full first aid kit video of everything that we have to be prepared, click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.